try and get a reaction because you want to make YouTube. I didn't say anything to you. You know, sir. My intent, I told you, investigative you know, journalism, and it's sad that that's your mentality sir, to somebody recording. Sir, you know, you know, Who taught you that? I'm not inside the precinct. Not I'm outside. Out here and you're not, you can't hang out over here. Okay. I'm not hanging out. I'm conducting no. business. Okay. I told you that already. You be recording. I understand that. Right. So what's the but problem? I, You're saying... Well, Go ahead. Okay. With our supervisors, they don't allow anybody to record inside the precinct. I'm not inside that's the precinct, ma'am. No, and that's a policy. That's not a law. No, you're recording inside of the precinct. Is that a policy or a law? Why are you walking up to me? Hey, man, what's going on with me, man? What do you want? I'm standing what do you want? in the corner. No, what do you want? Yo, back up, bro. You what do you want? Don't what touch you want? me. Don't touch me. I'm no. standing No, why are you recording to me? Corner. What's going on with you? I... Hey, what's up? You can't uh, stand up here. You can go and record on the sidewalk, but you can't stand right here, okay? Why not? Because this is not part of the sidewalk. You can't record inside a police station without permission. I appreciate it, you know. What's your name and guys number? I give you my card if you like. Would you like that? Yeah. Yeah, you can't sit here and record though. This is not the sidewalk. Of course the sidewalk. I can. This isn't the sidewalk. It's public know. property. No, it's not, sir. This is part of the police station. So the police, you, the police station is public property. Sorry, you can't record over here. I'm sorry. Why you came up to me to lie to me? I'm not lying to you, sir. You are. Sorry, I'm not lying to you, sir. You are. You can record on the sidewalk. Right if there. you feel like you're not lying to me, that means you just don't know what, what you're talking about, respectfully. Sorry. Listen. Are you saying that the police precinct is private property? Sir, you cannot record inside Finish the police your station. Yeah, here you go. I'm not inside the police station. You cannot record right here. This is where we conduct business, where we have people coming in. We have witnesses. What we have kind of business do you conduct? Police business, sir. You conduct public business or private business? Police business, sir. Right. So we have public people come in if they want to make reports, people who have to report crimes, okay? So if you want to record on the public sidewalk, that's right there. You can do that. You're more than Is this publicly to... accessible? Not unless you're coming in for a police report or you're, you have business inside the police. I have business. No, you can't record in that. Freedom of the press is official business. Sir, you cannot record in the eyes of the Supreme station. Court. Sir, you cannot record inside the police station. Okay? I'm not inside sir, the police station. You can't stand on right here on the I can stand here. Like... No, you can't, sir. Yes, I can. Sir, you cannot stand right here on the court. You agree with what he's saying? Yes, I can. You can record on the sidewalk. If you want to record, you can go Can right I stand here and draw? No, you can't stand here. Can I stay here and pray? No. No? No, you can do it all on there. Okay? Is this private property? You can do whatever you want. You can do it on the sidewalk. You can do it right on the sidewalk. Right now you're in the precinct premises. Yeah, okay. And you're recording inside, which is not permitted. Who funds the precinct? I'm sorry? Who funds the oh, police that's precinct? City, that's the city. city of New York, sir. And who funds the city of I New York? I sir. I the taxpayers, right? right? Yes, but... So that... Sir, listen. You really want to go there? Sir. I'm just saying. Sir, listen. I appreciate what you're I'm doing. I'm trying to educate you on you the know, law because you're, you're telling me a lie. I appreciate what you're doing, but I'm just telling you how it is. Okay, sir? I'm not trying to disrespect you. Am I I'm breaking not, the law? I'm not trying to. Sir, I'm asking you, please. Oh, you're you asking You cannot me. record right here. When I, finish, when I finish conducting my business, then I'll leave. Sir, you cannot record right here, sir. Why not? Because right now, this is where the police station. What I'm asking you is... Sir. What law am I breaking? Sir. That's what I'm asking you. Right. Sir. According to the precinct, we're not allowed, nobody's allowed to record here. I'm not inside the precinct. That's a policy. Yeah, but you're you know what, hold up. Do you know what the right to record act is? Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. You're not allowed to record inside the precinct. Clearly, it says on the gate when you're recording, you're not allowed to record. And that's what you were, if you look back on your camera, it would say that. And you're recording. It's no, you, you can record from down there, but from right here, you're not allowed to record. And we're asking you nicely if you can please exit this premise and you can record from down there. That's pretty much it. That's all we're asking. Do I have a right to be here? Do you have official business Do I have a right? Inside? Yes, I do. Do you have a crime to report? No, I don't. But I have official business. I'm conducting official business. business. What's your it's business? called Freedom of the Press, Investigative Journalism. Okay, you can and I can do it from public you property too. You can't record though, sir. You can't, you can't record. I just told you I'm conducting business. This is public property, okay. right? Listen, sir. I'm not breaking the law. That means I have a right to be here. I'm not. Right I'm not impeding business. I'm not disturbing sir, the peace. Listen. I'm exercising my rights peacefully we're on doing, public okay, property. Well, we're doing our job. I'm not committing a job. crime, man. Okay, 
I'm not, your job is to enforce I'll laws. Go I'm not breaking any laws. Right now, it's to enforce house, laws. And your job is to protect the Constitution it's and to protect my right rights. Now. Would you agree? I have so why are you trying to violate my rights? No, I'm, not trying to violate I'm on public property. Sir, exercising right a constitutionally protected activity. Sir, this activity is supposed to be protected sir, by you, listen, not listen, stepped on or sir, infringed by you. I'm not infringing on anything, right. sir. You cannot and do you know what the Right to Record Act state. is? It's a state law no, and it's a city law no, sir, that's that gives us the right to record our government officials sir. and our police. Yes, on public property. This so is said, public no, property. That's a traditional public forum, right? we have to be able to conduct, do our job, sir. I'm not impeding you, sir. I didn't even say anything to you. You're standing in the way right now. Okay. If somebody comes, they look. Sorry. Look, Your Honor, if somebody was to come, they have more than enough space to pass and conduct their business. Your Honor, I'm standing to the side and I'm peacefully recording. Sir, you're not you're not on the sidewalk right now. You have to go I'm on the I'm on public sidewalk. property, sir. sir you cannot Can you show me a sign that says authorized personnel only? Sir, this is where the police come in. Right. This is where we have victims. This is where the public sir, comes in, too. Can I explain something to you? Go ahead. We have people who are victims of domestic violence. That has right? nothing to do with we me. We have people who are witnesses. We have people who have been arrested. We have people who have the right to be able to come in here and conduct their business and not feel you recording them. Okay? It's for safety. Are we talking about feelings or are we talking about laws? Because now you're talking about feelings. Right. I'm not bothered. There's nobody here. All right, sir. There's nobody in the lobby. Sir. There's nobody here. I'm, I'm, if you're beyond, talking about other I'm people, my rights don't end where other people's feelings sir, begin. Sir, I have the right to be here too, sir, and I have the right to record okay, my government you officials. Do not have any police, any business. You're just here to record, sir. Unless you have. Yeah, which is official crime. business, and it's, in the eyes of the Supreme Court, freedom of the press, journalism is official business. Okay, well, sir. So why are you here. trying to trample on my rights right now? No, I'm not trying to trample. You on are both of you. Sir. You're saying that this you is know. first. You said this is private property. You saying that other people have a right to be here, but listen, not me. Listen, listen, sir. I'm listening to you. The people who are here. There's the many different forms of business, the sir. You there's are many, not here for that sir. There's many different forms of business that can be conducted sir, you are here on try, public property. You are here to try and get a reaction because you want to make YouTube. Videos I didn't say anything to you. You know, sir. My intent. I told you, investigative you know, journalism. And it's sad that that's your mentality sir, towards somebody recording. Sir, you know you're not Who taught you that? I'm not inside the precinct. Inside the precinct. I'm outside. Out here and you're not, you can't hang out over here. Okay. I'm not hanging out. I'm conducting you know, business. Okay. I told you that you already. Can do it on the side with I can do it from here too. Sir, can I speak to your I'm sergeant, here. please? Because Let's dive into some real life cases to illustrate this issue. We'll see how this right has been challenged, upheld, and violated. So buckle up because this journey through the legal landscape is going to be a gripping one um meet joe a bystander who found himself um in the middle of a tense situation joe was an ordinary citizen like any of us one day he was casually walking down a busy street when he stumbled upon a scene that caught his attention there was a heated interaction unfolding between a law enforcement officer and a civilian Sensing the gravity of the situation and the potential for misconduct, he decided to record the incident on his smartphone, standing at a safe distance. As he was recording, the law enforcement officer noticed him. Leaving the civilian, the officer approached Joe, demanding him to stop recording and delete the video. Joe, knowing his rights, insisted on his right to record in public. However, the officer seemingly unaware or can I speak to your, your supervisor please right. now you're telling me to stay right here do you understand I didn't say anything to you I didn't say anything to nobody I I'm peacefully I recording I understand that. right so what's the problem I, you're saying okay. go ahead okay with our supervisors they don't allow anybody to record inside the precinct I'm not inside that's the precinct, precinct ma'am no, and that's a policy that's not a law is that a policy or a law? That's a policy in our precinct. Yeah, policies don't trump my rights. Okay, but you can't make up. The government is not, not supposed to. to Ma'am, the government is not allowed to make policies that that go against the Constitution. Okay. Well, what is your purpose? Okay. I told you, investigative journalism. That's my intent. I'm investigating my government workers. I got some lead. I got a lead about this precinct. I'm following up on the lead. I'm a journalist. That's what I'm doing. I'm not inside your precinct. I can't give that away. Come on now. You want my sources too? No, it's just like your policy. Listen. That's like going into somebody's house and start recording their living room. 
If I'm on public property, I can record whatever I can see from public. You don't know the First Amendment, plain view doctrine, right? There's nothing wrong with what I'm doing, but I don't understand, one, why you have the disdain towards somebody recording. I'm here to start trouble. I'm but not here to start trouble. You, you can record from the sidewalk. And I'm trying to, to educate here. you that I can stand here and record. Okay. I'm not impeding business. Okay. I'm not in a restricted area. I'm not, ma'am. Ma'am, I'm not in a restricted area. I'm not impeding business. If somebody wants to come, they could come. I'm peacefully recording quietly okay. from a publicly accessible area. It's not blocked off. It's not barricaded. There's no sign saying that I can't stand right here. I have a right to be here. If I wanted to come, you know what? Can you give me? Can you do me a favor? Can I get three CCRB complaint forms, please? Thank you. I'm not going inside the precinct. I don't wish to go inside the precinct. I asked you for something. What was you saying? What's that? No, I'm just letting you know. Listen, sir, I'm just giving you the heads up. You cannot go into outside the precinct while recording, okay? Okay. And we got we got to try and keep this area clear, okay? So and that's it, okay? Does Does it seem uh, like I needed directives? All right. Well, I'm just giving you the heads up. You don't up. have to. I was trying to educate you that I could stand okay, here. Sir, I you went inside that. and got educated. You, you know, didn't believe me. You, know, you think I'm here just okay, a sir, just to cause problems? Listen, Why listen. do you? All right, sir. Why do you feel that way? Why do you feel like I'm sir, here just to cause problems? I sir, didn't say anything to you. Sir, I'm trying to break it down for you like this. You want to do investigative journalism? Right. It's more than, you're more than welcome to do that. Which is what I was trying to okay. tell you. But I'm just giving you the heads up. You cannot go inside the precinct and record. Okay? I'm I just could. Giving you, no, if you I chose cannot. to. If you cannot. No, if you I go inside the precinct and record, what's going to happen? You can get arrested for that. You cannot no, do that. No, you'd have to ask me to leave. You're going to arrest me for photography? Well, yeah, you have to leave that. Right. I'm telling you, you can't go in there and report. You're not allowed to do that. Do you that. know that that's just a policy and that's not a law? Sir, listen, you can't you know go that, right? Okay? I you can, know. sir, respectfully. You know. It's a public building. You know. I can't go in the back in restricted areas you know. and record. But, sir, but the public should be allowed to record. And fine, okay? But we're just doing our job. We're just trying to do our job. Keep this area clear. And that's it. Okay, sir? I'm not I blocking. You, I wish you best with everything. Okay? God I'm trying to educate you, I appreciate like it. I tried to earlier. All right. But if I'm if I'm not your sergeant, you're not willing to listen to me. I'm willing. Yeah, sir, I tried to tell you I can I, stand sir, here. Sir, you listen, didn't believe me. Sir, I listened to you. Right. I did not put my hands on you. I did not stop you. I, I didn't say you did. Like that. I didn't I say you did. Respectful towards you. I didn't okay. say you were. That's it. Okay. What I'm trying to tell you is, listen. listen. That policy. There's a there's a law. You enforce laws. You don't enforce policies. There's a law that says that we can record yeah, you guys anywhere, yes, you can. especially in a public building. You know, but you, you guys, can, can I finish public? my sentence, please? You, you guys are stop. enforcing that policy as if it's law and it's not law. Yes, policies don't trump laws, right, and sir. policies don't trump the Constitution. Okay, so sir. if I go in there and record, you're not going to arrest me for recording because you can't. Well, because photography is not a crime. Right. Yeah, you but you, you can't ask me to leave a public building while I'm conducting business. That's unlawful, and it's unconstitutional. Enjoy I hope it was able to help you out I'm with just that. trying to let you know about okay. the right... Hey. Look, look up no, the no, right no, to record no, 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 What's your name? Okay. Can I, you gave me your card? Summer, I, gave you your I need her card, too. I want you to look up the right to record that. You're a law enforcement officer. Look up that law, okay? And look up... Study the First Amendment, okay? Like, respectfully, this is... I record for many reasons, and part of the reason why I record is to open the dialogue. No. God bless you. So please look up that law. It's very important, okay? I appreciate you telling me that, sir. It says that we can record you guys anywhere, all right? You know what? God bless. God bless Stay you, too. Safe. God bless you, you too. Know. I appreciate you. Can I ask you, um, what's the most important thing about your job? Me? Well, what do you mean in terms of what? Like, what's what's the, all right, yeah, to you and to what's the most important well, thing about a police officer's job? Well, I became a police officer to help you. To help people? Okay. You know, to help people, you know, just uh, things that can be, some people see as like minor, but just help somebody for something that, you know, you're just having a bad day, someone with a flat tire. I know that doesn't seem like much to some, but some people that's mean the world to them. You know what I mean? There's no such thing as uh, a trivial uh, job, if that makes any sense. The people who need help, you're there to help. Listen, you know. Hopefully you're there before things happen, which is why you guys post up to deter crime. Yeah, that's one way of doing so it. So I understand that's why that. Some people do that. People post up, you know, safety. Plus you gotta realize too, 
we always got to, you know, be mindful of our surroundings, you know. But, of course, it's know, New York. But then again, anyway, should be that. Right. You know? So. I think one of the most important things about your job is to, re is to protect the Constitution and to protect our rights. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, protect the Constitution, right. you know. But at the same time, we also got to keep in mind protecting the Constitution, but also making sure everybody's safe. You know, well, you know the Supreme sure, Court ruled that you guys aren't yeah. responsible for the public safety. The Supreme well, Court ruled I don't know that. About that, because that's the one thing keeping people safe and you know keeping people. You try to, home. you want to protect life. That's what part well, of the oath yeah, is. Of yeah. That's what we want to do. Right? Yeah. You know. You but know? ultimately, you're not responsible to, but you, you want to, you like to. That's dismissive of the First Amendment. Confiscated Joe's phone and detained him temporarily. This incident sparked a significant legal discussion. The law is clear citizens have the right to record and photograph in public. Yet, Joe found himself in a distressing situation. He was merely exercising his rights, acting as a bystander filmmaker, a guardian of democracy in his small way. The case was taken to court and the judge sided with Joe. The ruling reaffirmed that the public has a right to record law enforcement officers in the public discharge of their duties. Joe's video, which could have potentially revealed a case of police misconduct, was recognized as an essential tool for accountability. The incident with Joe, however, was not an isolated one. Across the nation, similar confrontations have occurred reflecting a tension between citizens. It's like one of the main goals, but the main goal is to enforce laws and to protect the Constitution and protect the people's rights. Yeah. I think, in my opinion, I would think that's up there. Well, that's why I've stood on plenty of protests, people screaming, and I've actually gotten to, you know, not debates, but I've had people get mad because uh, people were protesting against cops over uh, on uh, East End Avenue. And they go, why are you allowing them? Like, well, they have a right to do that. Where they was doing a uh, Gracie, Gracie Mansion? And I said, they have a right to do that. Yeah. yeah. They can say they hate me all they want. That's their right. It seems like, in my in my experience, a lot of, like, you guys won't dare violate freedom of religion or freedom of speech or freedom of assembly, but it's like you guys, the ones, the officers I ran into have a this certain disdain towards freedom of the press and people watching their government workers. It's like, oh, you're just here to start trouble, or you're an antagonizer. Uh, no, because the thing is... You don't say that when somebody's praying. You don't say, oh, look, he's a, he's just doing that no, to antagonize. Well, no, no, no. Well, you got to realize something like this. I will sit here and defend your right to go around and report people as long as you are not stopping people from doing their job. So you're putting somebody at risk. You know what of I'm saying? Of course, yeah. This, you know, this, you know what I'm saying? It's time, place, That's and manner. I came over before and I was just like, you know, just I gotta make sure what's going on. And that's it. It's not to stop you from doing that. You know, I didn't try taking the camera away from you or anything like that. I would never do that. You know what I'm saying? Just like you wouldn't step on somebody's rug if they're praying or try to stop them from praying. No, not at all. You know? You know, you know uh, I always look at it like this. At the end of the day, my main thing I wanna do is I wanna make sure everybody goes home, okay? Everybody, not yeah. just you, right? Exactly. You know, I ran into an officer yesterday, last night. I'm sorry. I, I ran into a police officer last night, completely unhinged. Oh, yeah, I said well. hello. I came up. To, I was recording the car, and flashed his flashlight in my camera for a long period of time. So I tried to tell him about prior restraint, which is you can't flash your flashlight in my camera for a prolonged period of time because then you're violating my rights because you're prohibiting me from recording, from exercising my rights. If you, you know, flash your flashlight, see everything's okay, and then you have to stop, but he kept going. And then the other guy goes, oh, I'm gonna make your home safe. I don't, it's about police safety. And I was like, that's that's well, crazy. Look, I, I don't agree with the way he did it, but I understand where he's coming from. I understand it too. Yeah, I, really I understand like, human safety, but like, no. when you put well, police safety above no, public the only, safety. The only thing, no, 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 the, the thing is, I'm not condoning what he did, the way he did it at least. You gotta realize like this though, a lot of cops, you said they were in the car? A they were of, outside the car. No thing. A lot of things, is, you know what an ambush is? Yeah, I've seen That's it. That's why a lot of people get scared, because it's like, this has happened. Officer familiar. That's he why I came up to him, I said, and hello. I said, hey, how y'all doing? See, as long as you, you know, I try to be polite. Yourself, you know, yeah. You know, be polite. I always believe be polite. 
cook, some cook somebody the way you want to cook. You know? Right, exactly. Old school, you know? Exactly. Treat people the way you want to be treated. And he's like, oh, if you was being respectful, I'm like, you have to earn respect. Don't you have to earn respect? Like, I said, hello. That's the earn respect. Hey, how y'all doing? And then you come out, violate my rights, and then be rude to me because of police safety. And then I told him my intent. And then they still was rude the whole time. And I was like, I don't understand that. that. I see if I came I, out, I'm cursing you out. I don't believe in Monday morning quarterbacking or anything, but, you know. But, you know, I, I'm honestly interaction with you i've been i've been respectful right right as you know? a as a vi yeah. at least yeah. i try to be you know you know i understand all the whole thing with safety though police officers are ambushed i've been on the job as long as i've been on the job we've had uh in this city about like three ambushes for police officers to kill. okay one of them was all familiar she was sitting in the car and came up and shot and killed her before i got on the job blue and Lam ramos detectives in the ramos were executed while they were sitting in their car rest in peace you know so that's why you gotta realize. Do you think that comes? Around. Do you think that comes with the territory? What do you mean? Do you think that's part of that comes with the job? Well, it is a riskful job, but at the same time, nobody deserves to go to work and be executed. I agree. You see what I'm saying? And I agree. I think, time, I think a part of that you is you don't think we have a right to be aware of our surroundings. Oh, of course. You know, and of course. be a little defensive of where we are. Yeah, be, be on point, but you know what I'm saying? after a certain point, once you see that and I'm just here recording, you're still you know, being disrespectful. You, you've been conducting yourself like a gentleman. Right. You As I always try to a be. A lot of people, a lot of investigative journalists are not that way. No, I understand. Yeah. They are not that way at all. But you know, you got to fill out just you like know. you got. You guys are taught it, to fill out every situation. You know, some people, you know, you've been respectful, you know, and I can have to say, you know. So I should be. You know, we're having a nice civil conversation, like uh, not even me as a police officer, not even me as a journalist. Us just right now as just human beings. Yeah, or human yeah. beings. That's even yeah. better. You know what I'm saying? I can appreciate that. I appreciate you taking the time and having a conversation because you know, a lot of officers don't want to open the dialogue. You know, know what I mean? Is, That's how you bridge the gap. I, I can't. I can't speak for other officers because we're different. I understand like you that. You can't speak for those angry journalists, right? Who yell and scream, curse people out looking to get a violent react you know in my like, eyes that doesn't open that, that you know, doesn't support the first amendment that's because not, you're not opening the dialogue awesome. but right now you know having a nice conversation and some officers they get jarred up you know because years of like dealing with stuff like that you know and it's unfair because it gets that energy gets put on it's like the the dmv workers or the hra workers you know they deal with a lot of people that are upset cursing have you ever done have you ever done uh, had any of that with the dmvs, DMVs? yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I did HRA. At one point, I was doing all the HRAs around the city, and it got to be like everyone I went to was just straight ignorance and hands on, and everybody wants to be gangster. And it's like, you guys work for the public at the end of the day. Yeah, you know. So I feel like at the HRA level, I can't do it on the ground level. I'd have to go above their heads on that and say, listen, it's a public building, there's certain areas that are like a public lobby. You understand? So it's this, for me, it's the same as the DMV. You know, journalists record in DMVs all over the country, post offices all over the country, city halls all over the country. It's, to me, it's the same thing. But like some of these public workers, and not all, some of them are just, too, they need training. They need to I be retrained. I agree with that. You know, I They're not trained on the First Amendment. I do, I do agree with you. Or the that. escalation. You gotta realize too, it's New York City. Uh, New York City, I want more training. Yeah, I, me I would, too. I, would, I want more training. The thing is, it's very expensive, and it takes a lot of time. I want more civics classes yeah. in public school. Uh, I agree. You know, I agree. I think it should be both ways, really. Not only for the law enforcement, but for the public as well. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think, honestly, you know, people have to have a better dialogue and understand things, you know. And plus, too... You know, the longer I do this job, the more you realize dealing with people every single day. And I've had interactions with people where they were so nasty, so angry, and then I ran into the same person the next day, completely different. Right. You know, because... Right. And they've actually said to me, like, well, because I'm sorry, uh, they had a few drinks, or they had, uh, they were just going through a bad day, or they, they took some meds, you know, and they were, they were, they were, they were, they were a little they bit. They got for you know. the escalation. It goes yeah. a long way. Oh, it does. 
goes. So that's why. And a lot of officers don't have it. When I came over here, I never yelled at you. I never right. Threw, you I know, can appreciate that. You know, I don't do that because, you know, but I'm not gonna lie. My guard was up because I don't know what you were doing. I don't know what your intention was. I dealt mm -hmm. with, you know. Uh, that's why. Who, that's why I try to make sure I yeah. tell you my intent. You know. So, you know, I'm glad that we were able to have a conversation. With that. I've had sergeants. I've had lieutenants. I've had captains go hands on for me simply recording. And then I've had really good conversations with high, highest ranking officers at precincts. Only 10% of you guys are actually subscribed. We need to change this. Make sure to click on the subscribe button right now to get all of my videos. Also, smash on the like button to support this video and to send it out into the algorithm. Now, let's get into this next video. Why are you walking up to me? Hey, man, what's going on with me, man? What do you want? I'm standing what do you want? in the corner. No, what do you want? Yo, back up, bro. You what do you want, motherfucker? What do you want? Me. Don't touch me. I'm no. standing No, why are you recording to me? What's going on with you? I... This is what I'm talking about. I'm allowed to stand on a public sidewalk. We just went over this. They what just told you. No, he, they he just to me. Oh, he my God. This is the second time, guys. If you don't do nothing about this, now I'm definitely calling IA. No, I want him arrested right now. That's it. That's it. No, no, no. Now there's going to be a lawsuit. There's absolutely a lawsuit. He came up to you again. He's harassing me. No, I want him arrested. I want him arrested. That's it. I, no. Wow, I cannot believe this. He can do whatever he wants. This is the They're educating him. Look. You can record me. Look, I'll wave. No, this is the second time. Sorry, excuse me. I can record the cops too. Two options. That's he kill us or one half. What? Kill them? I know he wanna he wanna do something. What? Kill them? Why would I want to kill them? Do you believe this guy? I'm not investigating right now. Not only for that. See how this plays. Why was that guy? He is still crazy. Wow, they're upset that I'm recording them. I'm in public sidewalk. They is, he assaulted me almost twice. He came up to me, harassed me, and they're still not doing nothing. They're still not doing nothing. I'm not even saying Sir, nothing. This, this I'm anymore. not saying nothing. Can you do me a favor? Can you go to that corner, to that side? All right. I don't want to. So I gotta leave public sidewalk, and and they're allowed Listen. to drink. He harassed me, insulted me twice. You're not doing nothing. He didn't harass you. He didn't assault you. This it's, is a this. It's on camera. Number, right? It's on camera. I saw. You have your bike. I'm gonna. I'm I gonna was, do for it, bro. No, you turned street. the other way. You right? turned the other way, officer. He grabbed my arm Sir. twice. He came up to me again. Sir. I'm telling you right now, I'm calling the IA. I'm calling you. Get your sergeant out here, please. I want your sergeant. It's in your policy. Please get the sergeant out here. No, officer, please get your sergeant out here. It's in your policy. I want your sergeant. I want your sergeant. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Thank you, officer. I want your sergeant. Thank you. It's on camera. He assaulted me twice. No, he assaulted me. I don't care. If I touched him, I'm going to jail. No, no, he assaulted me. He's going to jail. Yeah, I want a sergeant. It's all on camera. Trust me. It's on camera. Don't lie. I'm going to FOIA request everyone's body camera too. I do this for a living, guys. And you know, it. You're, you're educating them. You're telling them I'm allowed to be on this corner. And listen, officer, I'm being peacefully. Listen, I'm not trying listen, to... Listen, I saw what happened. I was right across the street. Listen. It's a dispute about... And I was standing... Him. And I was saying... No, I was recording you guys. I, I have it on camera. I was recording you guys. He came up behind me again. So I had no choice to turn around and say, what, what are you doing? It's on camera. It's on camera. 
but but why are you not protecting my rights? But why are you not helping me? Like he's getting mad. He's getting mad that I'm recording him. Everyone's recording. Exercising their First Amendment rights and law enforcement officers misunderstanding or disregarding these rights. These incidents underline the importance of public awareness about their rights as citizens. We should not only be aware of our rights, but also be ready to assert them when necessary. Equally, law enforcement agencies should ensure their officers are trained and respectful of these rights. This case underlines the tension between individual rights and law enforcement, but it's not the only one of its kind. Now, let's look at the case of Maria, an activist who used her camera to document a protest. Maria, um, a passionate civil rights activist, was in the thick of a peaceful protest armed with nothing but her camera. She believed in the power of imagery to evoke empathy, to stir social conscience, to tell stories that otherwise go unheard. As she See what I'm saying? No, not, I want him arrested now. Now. Do your job. Do your job. He better be arrested now. If he's not arrested, there's gonna be a there's gonna be a civil action. Authority conduct. Assault. Guys, 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 guys. First Amendment. No, no, he assaulted me twice. I got it on camera. I want your sergeant here. Is your body camera on? Is your body camera on, officer? Hold on, brother. All right, no problem. Listen, he assaulted me twice. I have it on camera. I don't care. I want him arrested now. I want your sergeant here now. I want him arrested. He, it's on camera. He assaulted me twice. He came up to me. All I was doing was standing here recording you guys, seeing what's going on. I'm doing a story on YouTube. I'm on YouTube right now. And he's coming up to me. He's, he's intoxicated. But why why am I the bad guy? Why are they, why are they not protecting my rights, though? Why? I, I get it. I understand they're higher up, but I want the sergeant here. Now, it's in your policy. Please get the sergeant here. Thank you. I appreciate it. Please have your body camera on, because I'm going to FOIA request everyone's body camera. Your camera's not on, though, man. It's not blinking. Is it? All right. Maybe it is. All right. No problem. This is the third time, and then I got to leave the corner because they're intoxicated. All I'm doing is peacefully doing a protected activity where I'm allowed to stand on the corner and record whatever my eyes can see. You guys know that, right? And he came up behind me. It's on camera. And then the officers get mad at me that I'm, like, provoking them. Why? I'm not even doing nothing. I'm just standing here. Standing here. But they're letting him go. No, this is not right. This is against, no, this is not right. He assaulted me twice. I want, I want the sergeant here now. Believe me, I do this all day. This is my job. I do this all day. Why? By the way, you speak Arabic or you speak Malay? No? only speak English. This is disorderly okay, conduct right. right now. This is disorderly conduct, guys. You see this? Look, he's intoxicated Sir. right now. Obviously, they're not doing nothing. This is the third time. It's all on camera. First, they took his beer. They threw it out for him. This guy gives him the pound, like, go home and do what, like, they're protecting them. All I'm doing is doing a protected activity where I'm allowed to stand on the corner and record. I don't understand. He's worried that I'm going to kill him? Why would I want to kill this guy? Like, I don't even know who he is. You guys know who I am. I'm in a pizzeria every day. Vito knows who I am. Get Vito out here. Vito knows who I am. Can you explain to them in English? Because they know respect. Is the sergeant on the way? Is the sergeant on the way? You don't know? But it's in your policy. Can you call a sergeant, though? I, I don't know if they did, though. He's, he's not... He, Listen, guys, he's not even, they're not helping me. He grabbed me twice. He came up behind me. He's had something on him. I don't know if he tried to stab me. I don't know. It's on, the tape don't lie. I'm telling you. This is all going to the IA, everything. These guys are getting reported. I had their business cards right here. Bloomberg, can you please press charges, Bloomberg? I want to press charges. Uh, Officer... 
Well, now we got the, we got on the covers here now. Here we go. Here we go, boys. Let's go. We're live now. How are you? How's it going? Good. I want... Nah, man, I was assaulted twice. Yeah, everyone's body's camera's on because I'm going to do a FOIA request. I, I really am. Is there a sergeant here right now? All right. The problem is that I was standing here peacefully recording go what's going on, right? What's going on? Just hanging out, recording. The lights were on. I just walking around. I'm on public sidewalk. This guy came up to me twice, grabbed my arm. Who's guy? The guy in the red grabbed my arm, and he's drinking a beer. It's all on videotape, sir. It's all on videotape. He's drinking a beer in, in public. He grabs my arm twice. He's trying. Look, it's right here. Look, look. This is his stuff. I want him arrested, but they're not doing it. They, they, they know it. He grabbed my arm twice, and then he comes up behind me. Are you injured? No, but. Am I injured? No, Come I'm on. Now, now, I, no, no, I'm not injured, officer. But listen, if I put my hands on somebody in New York City, what's going to happen? I'm going to get arrested, right? Okay. But why does he get the right to grab me? Because he's intoxicated. That's yeah. not right. I'm allowed to hang on the corner. I go to this pizzeria all the time. Vito knows me. Everyone knows me. This is my area. I, I live in this area. This is. Okay. I'm over here just doing a protected activity. I'm allowed to do my First Amendment. They were even on my side. They were telling them, stop, like, back up. But they're not allowed to drink in public right there. And they're not allowed to grab me and try to get my phone and then you know, it keeps coming up that. to me I'm because not injured no but it's just I, just I don't like that I understand no no I him putting his hands on you is one thing him putting his hands on you and you being injured is something completely separate that's why I was asking you if you're injured you're saying you're not so therefore okay so that's still not assault then basically exactly yeah it's not assault if he just grabs me unless you're injured Wow. Now, if I punch really? you in the face, Sir, that's a different story. I was story. across the street and I saw what happened. It wasn't okay. assault, it was just a dispute, alright? So, I could grab somebody on the street right now. Wait, wait, let, let's. She clicked away, capturing the intensity of the protest. The police approached her. They demanded she cease recording, asserting she was violating regulations. Uh, unfazed, uh, Maria stood her ground, asserting her First Amendment rights. She knew that the public domain was her canvas and her camera, her brush. She was not invading anyone's privacy, nor was she obstructing justice. She was merely exercising her right to document public events. However, the police were insistent. They confiscated Maria's camera and detained her, accusing her of inciting unrest through her photography. This incident sparked a legal battle that captured national attention. Maria's lawyers argued that she was merely exercising her constitutional rights. They maintained that the police's actions were a blatant violation of her First Amendment rights. They pointed out how, in a democracy, transparency... Can I just... Please educate me if I'm wrong, okay? Okay, so, look at me. I'm going to make it simple for you, right? I, I'm I being cordial. I'm, I'm, okay. I'm not saying you're not. I'm explaining to you. Okay. I slap you in the face, right? Okay. You say you're not injured? Okay. Harassment. So he's harassing me. I punch me you in the face. Hold on. Okay. You have a black eye. Okay. Assault. Okay. Perfect. Understood? But okay. he's harassing me then. That is right. my arm. It's on camera. Trust me, it's on okay. camera. I, listen, I'm not disputing that with you. But if my, I did this to anyone over here, you I'm know I'm really, going to jail. You know that. You know I'll okay, be going well, to jail. Yeah. You know I'll be going to jail if I did this to anybody. They're intoxicated. Why did not even get a ticket? They're drinking in public. This is, this is, like, wow. This is, this, is why, this is why this is why I do this. You know that, right? This is why I do this. Okay. All right. No problem. I respect that. If they're saying that they witnessed the whole thing, I wasn't here, so I can't speak to that because I wasn't here. Guys, look at this. We're live. We got one, two, three, four. You heard me, sir? Yes, sir. I, I appreciate it. Yes, five. We got like seven cop cars here. This is insane. For, I don't understand what's going on. No, no. I, how are you? Your body cameras are on, right? What's your name and badge number? Chow? Yeah, Chow. How are you? One, two, four, two, four, four. Step back. That's fine. 
I got no real ill. Listen, I'll show you guys. I got nothing. I'm hanging out. I'm just hanging out doing it. Listen, I do this on YouTube. I do my First Amendment. I walk around. I just like to videotape. I got family in Texas. I got family in Florida. They like to see what's going on in the neighborhood. Uh, Corpus. Corpus uh, Yes. And then Clearwater, Florida is my uncle. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, so I'm hanging out. I see the lights going on over here, so I'm just what recording the, the cop car across the street. It's all on videotape. I've been here for okay. about a half hour. Everything's on videotape. Everything. All right? Peacefully being quiet, minding my own business. I'm actually minding my own business. I wasn't bothering nobody. So what do you need? Are you in so he's good to go? He's good to go. I wasn't okay. bothering nobody, no, but the problem just, that I, I have is that I'm being okay. harassed by this guy. He comes up to me twice. He grabs oh. my arm. Okay. He keeps coming at me. And these officers on camera, you kept going after him and pushing him back. You okay. took his beer out of his hand, threw it in the garbage. The other up. Really? He, that's his back right there, all right? Yeah, but you didn't take the beer out of his hand before and throw it in the garbage can? No, I told him to throw it to the garbage. You sure? I didn't I, 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 oh, you told him to throw it in the garbage. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. The yellow officer gives him a pound. Sarge, how are you? So the thing is I'm doing this. I'm just hanging out. I'm peacefully being minding my own business. They're upset that I'm recording. Okay, you're recording them. I'm not even recording them. No, I was standing this way recording. He kept coming up behind me okay. and trying to attack me and grab my arm. It's on camera. He grabbed my arm twice. Then again, he comes after me again. You guys, again, left across the street chasing him. Look, he's disorderly right now. Why is this like, why is this legal? Like, you know, I want him arrested for disorderly conduct. So to the hospital. We're intoxicated. And no summons for drinking in, in uh, public? Somebody saw him drinking in public, one of us. I have it on camera though. Yeah, but we can't go by that. We have to go by Really? Yeah. So my camera's lying? What is the no, 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 it's not that. It's, we have to observe the actual violation. We can't just take it offhand. Guys, do you believe this right now? Okay. But either, right. way, either way, we have discretion anyway. But, so if we didn't want to write him a summons, we don't have to write him a summons. All right, but the thing that bothers me is that, now, I get what the yellow officer said. If I, if I slap somebody, why is everyone mad with a guy with a camera? Why? I'm out here no, doing that. I'm not mad. Well, she's upset. Everyone's upset with me. No, Why? Nobody's upset. I do this for the Jewish Why? community as well. That's fine. What's your name and badge number? I'm sorry. Just so I know I'm talking to you. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Listen, I do, it. I do this for the Jewish community. I was by the 6'6", six, six, okay. right? I was helping a Jewish girl across the street the other day. It was amazing. They loved it. But look, look this is insane. And I'm the bad guy. And all I was doing was hanging out. Being quiet. I didn't even talk to the guy. I wasn't even talking to him. I was just standing right here. But you can't come up behind somebody and do this. No, I think this is harassment. Come on, officer. It's called spade a spade now. If I did this to anyone on the street, you know I'm going to jail. You know that. For harassment? Yeah, Harassment's a violation. Do you understand that? Yes. Okay, so that's a ticket. And I already told you that I have to observe you harassing someone to give you a ticket, right? It's on my camera, though. Yeah, that's can fine. I, can I go back to his show? No, no, it's a summons. We're not going to go that hard for... Okay. All right. We want like we, but you want people arrested, right? There's a no, lot of no, stuff going on. I just city, want right? I just want you guys to do your job. Yeah, to, we are doing our to, job. You know, protect my rights where I'm allowed to stand on the corner and record sure. and that's it. There's plenty of us over here. Nobody said you yeah. weren't allowed to record anything. He was you telling wanted. me to move three this times. I shouldn't you have to was move. Harassing you. Yeah. These officers came to help you out. We had other patrol officers come to help you out. Now you're talking to me. You're still recording. Completely fine. You know, we called him an ambulance because he's intoxicated. Okay. Not everything has to end up in an arrest. Am I right or am I wrong? I, I think you're wrong, honestly. I mean, so maybe maybe my education's wrong. No, maybe uh, my education's wrong. About your education, That's why I'm out here, and this is why I'm exercising my rights. And maybe I like to educate some cops too sometimes. I do educate them, but oh, okay. I know if I'm harassed and if, if someone puts their hands on me, you're still touching my property. He was trying to get my phone. He was trying injured? to grab my phone. Are you injured? You I'm not injured, injured, but he was trying to grab okay. my phone. Like, like that's okay. almost robbery. Like, give me your phone. Like, okay. like he's trying to grab my phone because he doesn't want me to record him. That's... He was reaching towards you? Yes, it's on camera. Okay. I can show you everything. I'm okay. going to trust me. This is all going to the IA. Everything. Everything's going to... It's all going to be, you know... But yeah, he was trying to grab my phone because he didn't want me recording. So that's almost like attempt robbery, correct? I mean, what do you think? Like, 
If I woke up to like like like, like hypothetically like a, speaking, it sounds like an intoxicated person was just being a, a douche, a douche, and you got roped up into it for whatever reason. I don't know why he doesn't like. See, is key, and citizen documentation plays a crucial role in ensuring that the court battle was grueling, and the verdict was anxiously awaited. Finally, the court ruled in Maria's favor, affirming her right to photograph in public spaces. This landmark decision was a victory not just for Maria, but for every citizen who believes in the power of free speech and transparent governance. The court's decision underscored the crucial role citizen documentation plays in our society. It emphasized that the public's right to know outweighs any perceived inconvenience to law enforcement agencies. It sent a powerful message that citizens have the right to record and document public events. Maria's case is a stark reminder of the challenges citizens face while exercising their right to record in public. It underscores the importance of knowing your rights and standing up for them. It's a testament to the enduring power of the First Amendment and the essential role of citizen activism in a democratic society. So, next time you're out in public, you recording this is ridiculous. This is, that premise is just welcome ridiculous. Welcome to America. I know. I like, guess. Yeah. I mean, but you know, like I said, we're here now. That's why I love the show. Constitution, right? Like, yeah, don't we all love the Constitution? We all took an oath to it, right? Don't we all course. love it? Exactly. So I don't know why people get like upset about it. And I wasn't. It wasn't like I was antagonizing them, like walking up to them. Wasn't even doing that. I was just minding my business. But like, I shouldn't have to worry about who's behind my back, like trying to run up behind me. Hey, my, cursing at me, screaming. No, I think that's harassment. I think that's almost assault. I think that's trying to rob my my per, my personal property by taking my phone. I I mean, that's my opinion. Maybe okay. okay that's fine. You know, everyone's got their own opinions. No problem. Unbelievable. This is what's going on right now at the 6-2. I can't even believe this. It's like they're protecting them. Instead of protecting the Americans and protecting our rights, guys, you see this? Like, this is, oh, oof. This is, this is great. I cannot even wait. Everyone's FOIA requesting all body cameras. I love it. Little does he know, there's cameras everywhere. There's cameras over there. There's cameras across the street. There's cameras right here. There's cameras over there. This bank is recording right there. There's a camera right there, guys. There's cameras everywhere. There's always eyes in the sky. But this is pretty much evidence, like this is theirs. It's, I have it on tape where he was carrying this. Oh man, I can't wait for this to go viral, guys. Brooklyn audits, you guys will see it all over. Brooklyn audits. It's gonna go, oof. It's gonna go through the roof. How are you, boss? Good, how are you? Have a great night, thank you. Okay, okay, okay. And, and guys, I, I, ladies and gentlemen, I appreciate your service. Believe me, I'm not out here. I have no ill will. I got nothing against the NYPD. I, I, I support the blue. I have family in blue. I support it. Believe me, this pizzeria knows me. Everyone knows me around here. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. You got it. Yes, sir. Look at this. They're going to take him in the ambulance. This is unbelievable. But he's allowed to do whatever he wants. Oh, what a Tuesday night, guys. What a Tuesday night. Apparently, you could drink alcohol in Brooklyn, New York, but if the police don't... Well, it's on camera. The cop actually 
took it out of his hand and threw it in the garbage. So that that's going right to IA. This this guy right here. I have his business card. He gave him the pound. He gave him the handshake. He said, throw it in the garbage can. Don't worry about it. Just go in your way. Both of them. It's on their body camera. I cannot wait till FOIA request this. And look, this is the evidence right here. Evidence. And it's on camera where he even charged me with this bag right here. Oh, oof. I cannot wait. Traffic, anything there. Seven! Seven! way i'll be going to the hospital guys i think i'll be in handcuffs already you know guys i was i was actually put in handcuffs at yankee stadium when the when the yankees won game five for just hanging out doing this i have i have a lawsuit with the 44 person right now no no seriously i really do i i have one that's going to be starting very soon because but this this is okay this is look with your camera remember maria's story remember your your lens is your voice. Um, so well, what does the law actually say about our right to record in public? Well, let's break it down and get rid of the legal jargon. The First Amendment of the United States Constitution protects freedom of speech and expression. This includes the right to record matters of public interest in public spaces. That's right. The law recognizes our right to document what's happening around us, especially when it pertains to matters of public interest. Now, what does public interest mean? It's a broad term, but generally it refers to anything that is of concern or importance to the general public. This can include events like protests, police actions, or even just the everyday happenings in our communities. But hold on, it's not as simple as pulling out your phone and hitting record. While the First Amendment does protect your right to record, there are some restrictions, for instance, your recording should not interfere with legitimate law enforcement operations. You also cannot trespass uh, on private property to record, and there are specific laws about recording people without their consent. Moreover, it's important to note that these rights can vary from state to state and even from city to city. Some places may have more restrictive laws, so it's always a good idea to familiarize yourself with the local regulations before you start recording. Um, lastly, Let's talk about enforcement. Even though the law is on our side, it's not always enforced that way. There have been instances where individuals recording in public have faced opposition or even legal action. This is where the real life application of the law becomes a bit murky. Always remember, the law is a tool for us to uphold our rights, but it's equally important to use it responsibly. Understand your rights, but also respect the rights and privacy of others. While the law seems clear, its application and enforcement often raise questions. But how can you protect your rights when you're out there camera in hand? The first step is to understand that your right to record in public places is well established. However, it's crucial that you exercise this right responsibly and respectfully um, being careful not to interfere with ongoing police operations or violate anyone's privacy. Knowing your rights is key. Um, in the United States, for instance, the, the First Amendment protects the freedom of speech and press, which includes the right to record and photograph in public. However, this right isn't absolute. 
there may be restrictions, particularly in areas where there's a reasonable expectation of privacy, like restrooms, changing rooms, or private property. If you're approached by law enforcement while recording in public, stay calm and composed. Politely assert your rights, but remember that the situation can escalate quickly if handled poorly. You can say something like, well, officer, I'm not interfering. I'm asserting my First Amendment rights. You're being audio and video recorded. It's also wise to know the laws specific to your state or country. Some jurisdictions have wiretapping or eavesdropping laws that require consent from all parties before recording audio. In these cases, it's important to notify the people you're recording, especially if you're capturing audio. Another tip is to use technology to your advantage. Many smartphones and cameras have features that allow you to upload your videos or photos to the cloud immediately. This can help preserve your media in case your device is confiscated or damaged. Lastly, don't resist if an officer insists on seizing your equipment. While they generally cannot do so without a warrant, resisting could lead to charges. Instead, note the officer's badge number and name and seek legal counsel immediately. By taking these steps, you can responsibly exercise your right to record while minimizing potential conflicts with law enforcement. Remember, your right to record is not only a legal protection, but also a tool for accountability and transparency.